A suspect was shot by Philadelphia police after allegedly attacking two officers right inside the 39th Police District building. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe was at Temple University Hospital with the very latest on the investigation. Howard. And you could, those officers, they were rushed here to Temple University Hospital following that attack. Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw did come here to check on them, and she says that they are in good spirits. Now, this all unfolded earlier this morning, just after 9 o'clock inside the 39th District Building. Police say the 23 year old man entered the building on Hunting Park Avenue in Nice Town wearing a mask. He walked up to a glass barrier in the lobby and asked the officers something. Police say they couldn't hear what he wanted, so they opened a locked door to their operations room. That is when police say he lunged at them with a screwdriver in his hand. He began fighting with two officers, and then a third officer shot the suspect, hitting him in the torso. One of the officers suffered injuries to the back of the head. The officer had injuries to his arm, elbow, and hand. It's not clear if either officer was stabbed. After these types of incidents, a group of chaplains, they visit officers in the hospital. They also visited the officers today. Praise God, it's not worse than it was. That's, that's the best I could say. Um, I mean, I've been at uh, uh, situations where we didn't know whether officers were going to make it or not, and some didn't make it. Um, but we praise God that this is not as serious as it could be. Now, police, they have not said right now if the officers have been released from the hospital. The suspect was in surgery earlier. The district attorney will make a final decision on any possible charges that may be filed. But for now, live outside of Temple University Hospital, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Howard, thank you for that.